Hi everyone, my name is Alicia. Thank you for joining me again this week. Today we're celebrating the fourth Sunday in Easter. In the Gospel today, Jesus tells us that he is the Good Shepherd. This is a reading from the Gospel of John. Jesus said, I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd is even willing to die for the sheep. A person who is hired to watch the sheep and doesn't own them runs away when a wolf comes and leaves the sheep to be snatched and scattered by the wolf. A person like that is working only for the money and doesn't really care about the sheep. But I am the good shepherd. God knows me and I know God. And in the same way, I know my sheep and my sheep know me. And I am willing to die for my sheep. The Gospel of the Lord. When Jesus was alive, there were many shepherds around in the fields. They would be out in the fields with their flock of sheep every day. It was an image that everyone back then would recognize. We may not see shepherds anymore the way they did back then, but there are still many shepherds today all over the world. A shepherd's job is to take care of their sheep. They watch over the sheep, protect them from harm, and lead them to where they will be warm and well fed. When Jesus was alive, shepherds would live in the fields with their sheep, in the rain, in the snow, all the time. The sheep knew the shepherd's voice and would follow them wherever they went. The sheep trusted the shepherd to take care of them. The shepherd could tell every single sheep from one another and knew each one by name. Jesus is the good shepherd. He watches over you and me. We are all his sheep. When we are baptized, we join Jesus' flock. While he is always watching over us, Jesus also calls other shepherds to watch over you as well. Who do you think these other shepherds might be? Let's think about that for a minute. Your parents are shepherds or whoever looks after you, your grandparents, your aunts, and your uncles, Jesus calls them to make sure that you are safe and loved and taken care of. Nurses and doctors are shepherds. Jesus calls them to take care of you when you are sick and to help you stay healthy. The priest at your church is also a shepherd. He is there to help you live your life like Jesus wants you to. Your teacher and coaches are also shepherds. Can you think of any others? Each one of us can also be a shepherd to each other. We can donate food to people who need it. We can donate some of our toys to other children who may not have any. We can help our families around the house. We can share our love with everyone around us. And in that way, we are also being shepherds to others. This week I made a picture of a shepherd and some sheep. I used cotton balls to make the sheep and I put a googly eye on each of them. And I put one for each member of my family. I also made a shepherd. Do you see this staff that he's holding? That was something that shepherds used all the time. It was to help lead the sheep or to help them if they got stuck somewhere. At the top of my picture, I wrote, I will follow the good shepherd because that's what we should all do. We should follow Jesus and the way that he taught us how to live. I hope you all have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye.